Jeremy Duffield Harding has been working in the industry for 41 years. Over 200 different pelts are created at the Swakara House in Vinduk, with the subtle differences in the products identified in very fine details, sorting pelts does not come easy. Definitely not a job for just anyone, he says. It's, it's a difficult product to work with because I think the basic thing is that, that every pelt is different. It's, uh, it's, they're like fingerprints. Everyone is unique um, with their own set of characteristics. And, and I think that's what keeps me working with this product. Um, it, it, it's just a constant challenge. Swakara pelts are globally known and in demand, especially by fashion designers who design for the elite, the rich and the famous. Even after four decades of working in the industry, Jeremy remains excited to be part of this Namibian pride. I, I once made a very special lot which I do every auction, I make a special lot and I, I made a special lot of about 50 pelts and that was bought um, and it went through the value chain and ended up in, in New York and it, it was a coat that was made for Madonna and so I, when I saw that I knew that that, that bundle was, was put together on a, on a blue table here in Namibia, here in Windhoek at the Pelt Centre, and it was Spakara. And that made me feel proud that it's also a Namibian product which finds um, an international, um, a place in the international market, its own niche, and is recognised as a, as a world-class product. Last year, Swakara sold close to 120,000 pelts altogether at the April and September Copenhagen fur auctions at an average price of more than $560 per pelt.